Going back with another scary story update that you guys have never asked for, but I'm gonna give you guys anyway. This time we're gonna be focusing more on advertisement and marketing because that's kind of like where I'm at now. I think the app is pretty polished. There's a lot of things I wanna tweak, performance things in the back and I wanna improve, um, UX things I need to improve as well. But overall, I mean, you can come in here, you can generate a story and you can easily create a video from it and post it on your social medias. Here's my other channel that has, you know, seen a little bit of boost in traffic from these scary stories that I've been creating. And so let's talk about the marketing aspect of this application. There's a couple of avenues I'm taking and I wanna make this public information so other people trying to market their SaaS can have an idea. By the way, I'm not an expert at this stuff, although I have built a successful YouTube channel and my Twitter following blew up really fast. I would say marketing a SaaS product is probably a little bit different than marketing yourself. Uh, so leave a comment if you are a marketing expert or like you, you know how to use like Google AdSense and other stuff, leave a comment so we can all learn from it. So one of the things I wanted to explore was Reddit ads. This is the first time I've touched Reddit ads, but basically you go in here and you create a campaign and in the campaign, you can create some ad groups. So a couple of days ago, I had a initial test which had an ad group targeting some subreddits. So I, you know, did scary stories and creepy pasta, but there's a bunch of other subreddits I could probably have added in, but I feel like my application is very niche and targeting people who are also trying to write scary stories would be a good approach. And so you can come in here, you can do keywords or you can like target communities. You can expand this to allow Reddit to kind of like show your ads to more people if things are relevant, which I probably should have turned on. You can change demographics, devices, blah, 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 other stuff down here. So down here, you can put a max bid. So like you can say how much you want to spend every day or like how much money you want to place on a bid. I don't know how ads work, but I'm guessing like people who bid higher get a higher priority of like getting ads displayed. And so if you do a low bid, there's a lower chance that your stuff's actually going to like get promoted out there. But overall, they give you an estimate of like if I were to run this test uh, for a week, it would cost me about 140 bucks. I'd get 45 to 90 clicks and about 40,000 impressions. You can do it by daily, and you can see that I get like six to 13 clicks. All right, so that's like the ad group, and then you can go and create an ad. So over here, I went and I created an ad. Let me just edit the existing one I have so you guys can see. And I added like a name, I added a video. This is gonna be a, a marketing promotion for a video where you can choose um, a video that you want to display, and then when they click it, it'll take them to a link. You can also add a thumbnail, and uh, I also added a UTM tracker. So this is something that a lot of people do with marketing where they need to track where did the traffic come from? So they will add like Reddit here or they'll add Twitter or they'll add YouTube or something like that. So that's what I'm doing. I'll show that in just a bit, how I'm kind of like monitoring that. And for the actual ad itself, like it's basically me just clicking through my application, showing how easy it is to take an existing script, paste it in here, generate a story, make a video. And then finally at the end, I upload it to my YouTube channel just to kind of like show them how easy it is to get a story generated out there. All right, so let's look at the results. If I were to go ahead and select both of these ad groups and look at the overall, like how much I spent, for 36 bucks, I have gotten 35 clicks. And in my opinion, a dollar a click, I don't know, maybe that's like standard, but to me, that's not very, a very good use of my money. It's a good use of your time because you don't have to worry about it. You just promote the ad out there and then over time, you'll get the, the clicks. So let me select the first ad group. This was the ad that was targeting those specific niche subreddits of people who are like writing scary stories and reading scary stories. Um, overall, not that many clicks, not that great. And then if we were to switch it to this recent ad group that I've been doing, I think I kicked this one off last night. I've spent $6 and I've gotten nine clicks. Now, so let me switch it to this other demographic, which I'll talk about. At some point along this process, I actually joined a Discord community of scary story writers and I tried to promote this a little bit without getting banned. And the first impression I got from most of these writers is that they hate AI. They think AIs are taking their creative jobs and they would never use something like this to turn their stories into videos. And so it turns out my target audience was basically just wrong. I thought that a writer would love to take their stories, convert it to a video, post it on a social media account so they can actually get different ways to monetize off of their work. Um, unfortunately, they are just AI deniers. They don't like AI. They think it's dumb. Um, I think one of the comments I said in the channel is that we hate AI. And so I'm basically like, okay, well, screw you guys. I'm going to go ahead and switch my target audience to creators, YouTube creators. So I selected new tubers, content creators, YouTube, small YouTube channels, because I realized that content creators don't care. They want to make content. They want to get views. They want to get ad revenue. And how do you do that? 
Well, you can use tools that basically use AI like I have here to help you write stories, convert them into videos, and then you can publish on your channel like I'm doing here. So that's the AdSense. Overall, is this worth it? I don't know, I'm gonna let this run. I have a spending limit of $100, so we'll see um, how this goes. But let's go to Project Planner AI, which is basically every time someone clicks on one of those links that has a UTM, it's gonna load the app and then it sends off an event to my system. So I'm gonna go and check out Twitter. I'm gonna check out YouTube and then I'm gonna check out Reddit. So let's look at this graph. We have Twitter with 283 page opens, okay? We have Reddit with 15. Great that I added this a little bit later in time. Um, I forgot about the UTM stuff uh, after running the initial AdSense. So now every time someone clicks, it does actually mark it here. And then we have YouTube. So let's do a breakdown on this and try to understand where the traffic is coming from. I already talked about Reddit ads, but there's also some other marketing I'm doing on the Reddit sub channels, right? So we have creepypasta over here and I actually paste my entire story with a link to scary story generator um, over here. I forgot the UTM code here, so that's not really even getting tracked, unfortunately. But this is another way that I'm marketing. Basically, I have a link to the videos, which they can click and it takes them directly to the app and they can actually watch the video inside my application so that they are able to maybe go to my landing page, look at the pricing, try it out for themselves. So that's where the Reddit stuff's coming from. Let's look at YouTube. So YouTube, I have this channel itself and on every video, if I look at the description, I have all videos are generated using scarystorygenerator.com with a UTM code of YouTube. So this is one way that I'm marketing on YouTube. Additionally, if you look at the video, I don't know if you've seen this, but when I play it, you'll see that there's like a watermark on the video itself. So scarystorygenerator.com is on every single video that I publish to my social media accounts. And overall, I mean, I've gotten some new subs and some decent amount of views over the days, and I've been trying to ramp up my publishing just so I can get more people to watch this. But all these stories here, I've used my tool to either take a script that I've written. Now, some of these I need to delete because they're using like Dolly and I just, the, the, the graphics are a little bit cartoonish and I wanted to kind of keep it realistic. But overall, that's the idea of how I'm marketing on YouTube. And some other things I could probably do is on every single video, I could pin a comment with the link to the application, which is another avenue I could take. All right, let's talk about another one, which uh, well, this is recommended by Florin Pop. So I appreciate you giving me this recommendation. And that is to use TikTok. So I've been also trying to make some short videos and publish them on TikTok. One of the videos I made uploaded to TikTok. I have the link. I put the wrong UTM code here, unfortunately. Uh, but then I'm also using some tags. There's some good tags you need to look through when you post these videos, such as I'm using horror and horror TikTok. Now that I think about it, I didn't add tags to my YouTube videos. That may help. I should probably go and add some tags. I will say posting to TikTok kind of sucks. Like I've tried to upload videos from the web browser version of TikTok and like stuff just doesn't show up. So I actually had to go and install TikTok on my phone, switch my account to Scary Story Generator, and then I have to like airdrop my videos from my laptop to my phone and then upload it from my phone. It's just a mess. Like this app is just garbage. So I am taking a decent break from Twitter um, for a variety of reasons. But I have posted, I think, two posts on Twitter basically promoting my app. This is the last thing I posted. So here is just a quick, it turns out headless videos might actually be low effort path to success with a link to my app. And I've gotten 13,000 views, 112 hearts, 32 bookmarks. And that has gained me more clicks than any of the other approaches that I've done. Now, granted, I have spent time building up my account. I have like 22,000 followers. And so when I publish something, the algorithm is going to promote it probably a lot better than if you were to start a brand new channel. But overall, from these numbers, I don't know if a majority of these are from my, like, my followers or if they're actually from like organic promotion of my post that other people are seeing and basically going to my app and trying out. But, but if I were to zoom out and think, okay, what is the best approach to kind of market this? I think on X for me would probably work the best. Um, I think keeping the ads running would be very useful because it kind of targets a different uh, subgroup of people. But I will say one thing I learned about marketing is that you're supposed to diversify where you're doing your ads, right? You want people from different social media platforms to all come in and start using your app. And you might not get as many clicks from one versus the other. But again, if I didn't have like a big social media following, I don't think this, this Twitter one would pop up. Now I do plan to add a UTM link on my Web Dev Cody channel as well, just to see like how much traffic is coming from like this video that you're watching now. I think that'd be cool to um, run an analysis on and just kind of get some information about. 
All right, so that's it. So leave a comment if you have different approaches of how you think I should market this. I've thought about other things such as like affiliate links. I've thought about maybe pairing up with other writers or content creators who want to use my app exclusively. I'll give you credits. So I guess reach out to me if you want to actually like get free credits, build scary stories, and try to build your own social media accounts using this. And uh, it would help promote my stuff. And also you could probably make a profitable channel using it as well. And I could get feedback from you to help make this app uh, a lot better. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day. Happy coding.